we've mentioned to them that they should increase the number of teams. We will also play a role in trying to improve the coordination. It is taking so long to develop and build a medical college here. It is not such a complicated thing to do. We've been facing now these tragedies that are coming out of man-animal conflict for some time. And in the last few days, uh, there have been a larger number of them. So I cut short my Bharat Jodo Nyay Yatra and came here uh, to speak to the people who lost their family members, to condole with them, and also to speak to the administration here. We've told the administration that they need to pay the compensation quickly and effectively uh, and not delay the compensation that has been happening over the last couple of months. We also suggested to look into setting up and testing an early warning system. They've told us that there is a rapid response team, but it is quite clear that one team is not enough. So we've mentioned to them that they should increase the number of teams and supply the teams with everything that is required. Uh, there's a question of interstate cooperation uh, between Kerala, Tamil Nadu and Karnataka. We mentioned to them that we will also play a role in trying to improve the coordination. But it's important that the three states coordinate between each other as far as uh, this issue is concerned. Finally, uh, the medical college, which is a critical issue. And I mentioned to uh, the administration today that I don't understand why it is taking so long to develop and build a medical college here. This is, it is, it is not such a complicated thing to do. And it's a tragedy that even after people are losing their lives, are getting injured, they are not having a proper medical college here. And I've written to the chief minister and I would request him again to please expedite this matter. It is, it is almost becoming a joke now. And finally, I think it's important that the government should bear the cost of treatment of the people uh, who have been injured uh, in this latest spate of attacks. Uh, thank you very much. Well, look, this is this is not a political meeting. It would be inappropriate here for me to get into political issues. I've come here because I think this is a very important issue that Vayanar is facing. Sir, uh, can be done to be let me answer, please. Please don't interrupt me. Sir, Brother, let me answer. Right. So this is a very important issue, and I do not want to digress this issue by getting into uh, politics. I want the administration to understand that the people of Vainar are struggling with this. It is creating trauma and panic and it needs to be looked into aggressively and quickly. Thank you. Thank you. This is not a press conference, my friend. This is just a, a statement. Look, look, if I thought the government was taking up this issue, I would not be reading out these issues in front of you. It is clear that there is, a, there is a problem here that needs to be looked into. There is the problem of the medical college. There is a problem of compensation. I have spoken to the family members here who have not got their compensation. When a family loses a member, especially a poor family, it, it is not good enough to give them compensation after uh, a long time. The compensation needs to come immediately because they need the money immediately. So these are issues we have raised and we will continue to raise. I would request the government to act quickly and aggressively on this. Thank yeah, you very much. Sir, the chief minister, he's not available. Yeah. I, I also... Why no long-term action plan for this issue? Excuse me, uh, let me just, let me speak please, don't interrupt me. I tried to call the chief minister this morning. Uh, he is not available, so I'm looking forward to uh, calling him and having this conversation with him because I would also like to apprise him directly of what the people of Vainar are going through.